Hello, welcome. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to collect metrics from this vSphere environment. This is my uh, vCenter, but you can collect metrics from any vSphere like uh, ESXi or vCenter. I'll be using a template that uh, Grafana provides. It We should create a graph that looks like this after this installation. This is fairly simple. We just use a plugin in uh, Grafana and that's it. The plugin that we're going to be using is called inputs.vsphere and this is supported in the current version of Telegraph. So I'm going to use this machine in my uh, lab called Telegraph Client. There's nothing else installed on this machine. It's a SendOS machine and what I'm going to do is just go ahead and edit my telegraph.conf and find if I have the vSphere inputs.vsphere uh, plugin in there. So as you can see, I do have the inputs.vsphere plugin and it says read metrics from VMware vCenter. This is the one that I'm going to be using. But um, as you can see, everything else is commented out. You have to come in here and uncomment things if you want them to work for you. So the best way that I found is I open a text editor and comment everything that I need, then come in and paste it in here. So I'll show you that right now. So to create a graph that is identical to what I have here, you need to go to the Grafana site and also use the same template that I used, which is this one. And to be able to get this data from the template, I just copied all this inputs dot vSphere information because I want everything that they are collecting that's showing on that graph. Copy that to a text editor. Then I just paste it in here. So what I need to do is just put my vSphere information and once uh, that information is in, I can just collect the data. So my vCenter is, is uh, at 192.168.200. So I'm just going to put the IP address here. And I think it's, it's just HTTP. And my username and password is administrator at vSphere.local. So I'm still using that one. And the password should be elabs2018. And that's it. So now that I know that this looks the way I want it to be, I can just go and do an uh, edit, select all, copy, and literally go into my uh, machine. Instead of messing with all this other information that's already commented in, I'm just going to paste my configuration here and leave the other one the same way. And just like that, I have my vSphere metrics in there. So I can just do an escape, write and quit. Then start restart Telegraph. Once Telegraph is restarted, we can just come back to Grafana Labs and go ahead and copy this dashboard. This is by Jorge Lee La Cruz and uh, this is great uh, he just needs the credit right now and then you want to come here to Grafana to import then just do a paste load as you can see it, al it already knows 
the data source is InfluxDB and it already names it vSphere. Then you can just do an import. After a while, when your data populates, you should start seeing a bunch of metrics right here. So after a while, I'm just going to show you what already works for me. You should be able to see all this information. You see what says cluster. You should be able to see your cluster uptime, cluster CPU, RAM, your data store capacities, um, CPU usage. As you can see, this is uh, all the information that you'll be able to get after setting up this uh, vSphere plugin. It's wonderful. I can just view this information on my dashboard and no problem. As you can see, I can tell how far my data stores are and uh, how things are going. I can even just zone in on the data stores and you, as you can see right here, I'm already seeing the capacity of every data store in beautiful graphs. This is amazing and it's very easy to switch to. This is overview of every virtual machine. Remember we added out my um, domain controller server last time manually as a Windows machine. Now I can just get it right away. And I need to fix this CPU use, uh, utilization. I'm not sure why, but this is all wonderful information that you can get from this plugin if it's set up correctly. So if you're interested, go ahead and make sure that you keep making it. Otherwise, uh, we'll be playing more with this uh, in a different video or in a different course. But uh, I just wanted to show you how the plugin can be wonderful. Next, I'm going to show you how to add this one traffic data to your graphs. This is going to be coming from SNMP, from your networking devices, one inbound, one outbound. So without wasting time, let's get to it.